All right, yes, you're welcome to the Balanced Diet of Teletainment. Now, if you check your Google, you go to see the next bus stop. Now, another gadget guess where we get for inside the building. Now, we know say when it comes to the entertainment industry, a lot of people, they come outside, especially the entertainers, they clamor, they complain about how intellectual property and uh, some of the content where they generated based on originality from them, how some other people, they come outside, they abuse them. And that's now why we get this very important lawyer with the service, the entertainment industry, and they said, I'll miss this morning. You're going to need to help me make welcome this very early morning. We get um, lawyer or barrister, Akinyemi Manyolua. Um, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Good morning. Good morning. Good to have you in Good the morning, house. Good morning, Lagos. Good to have you. Now, we don't see a lot of um, intellectual property being banned by the Nigeria Broadcasting Commission. And a lot of Nigerians, now they come outside, wonder what are the responsibilities and the role of this particular commission. Can you please enlighten us on the duties and responsibilities of the Nigeria um, Broadcasting Commission? Yeah, um, the thing we say, any country, we the um, forward thinking. They must get interest for waiting they enter the mind of the people. You know, communication, I know if you just they make nobody they feel time, they say, oh, now like this is supposed to, now like that is supposed to, because, um, you, you know, you get plenty issues with it, they, you know, you want license people so that you make some money. If any TV station wants to start to operate, you want to collect money, license them, they regulate, say, now like this, um, uh, on our operation is supposed to be, on our set standard as a corporation. So um, different countries get all those kind um, institutions where they always regulate communication. So our Nigerian situation is no different. We follow joint bodies say anything where they are radio, we come our airwaves via radio, television, even digitally, say with the regulate them so that everything go day in a particular order. Now why we get to the NBC, where they do that version of um, duties for Nigerian airspace. Fantastic. So now with, um, because now with the hear of certain bands on top certain music and, um, um, and uh, but first of all, before NBC they ban music, people they come outside to talk say, they're not supposed to listen to this music before the music even comes to the public. Why they go allow me the music reach the public? before and then wait for someone to actually petition the artist or petition the particular person who create the content for that music or be it video or whatever it is before they decide to go into action. And the thing we say, anything creativity, they very fast. If we look how people, they generate content today now, if you just sit down on top of my bed, they communicate with thousands or millions of people, you know, via my Instagram handle or on Twitter or on Facebook and all of that. So the way we content, they move, it fast. Very, very, very fast. And when we check them with the way we laws that they made, before you go feel make laws for National Assembly, it go take you plenty of time. Even you as a guy for office, if you do any government power start with the regulated communication. Before then go bring your notice to a particular content where they offend people or where they cause wahala for public, it go take time. Before you go sit down and review with other officers. To think and say, ah, this thing where this person they generate, she now like this is supposed to. So now why be say the song go first on trend? Everybody go down listen to the song first before maybe three weeks later, person come to the city up, they say, oh, we are TV stations, me when I know they play again, radio stations, me when I know they play again. So it is, it is always the nature of creativity and ideas that it moves fast. And any regulatory commission or institution will try to play catch up. But at the same time, all these people where they create all this content to then suppose get mind, say anything where they create must be responsible. So let me give a specific example. Now, just recently, okay. Nigerians were thrown back uh, when um, NBC, the National Broadcasting Commission, become as I ban and files the bad guy song, This Is Nigeria, because of the content, everybody in a criminal. Now, as an entertainment lawyer, what was Fowl's crime in this particular song? I mean, I don't think there was a crime at all. Because when you say crime, it, it insinuates a personal break law in a particular manner. Although, you know, as administrative body, then to then get power to say you don't do um, what you're not supposed to, or say you offend morality, or what you they try to portray, you they obscene, or you they offend a particular community. But I, for one, as a lawyer, I don't see any, um, any case of, you know, committing an offense, I think um, he's expressed himself. If we say everybody in a criminal, say you believe him, say everybody in a criminal. Say you just want to look at him as a narrow interpretation, say 
everybody na criminal. Or you think say uh, maybe in get messy when they try portray. Say now like this and they report the matter for Nigerians outside Nigeria. Say everybody na criminal. If you look up newspaper, if you look up television, a lot of international media they already complain, say everybody na criminal for Nigeria. We where in Nigeria know say no be so. But maybe if I was, as a creative and um creative professional or as a musician or as an artist, they just try amplify waiting no supposed day with they wrong with Nigeria by using that statement. Now like that, may I go see him. So now um, taking you back to waiting we talk about NBC and the procedures where they're supposed to take and, and saying the process can be long. If this process this same process you know they follow them when the particular song or content is brought to their notice. Because it can't be like say it takes a shorter time when it gets to the public for them to put a ban compared to when before it gets to the public um, um, for them to follow that new process. Are we saying that process is not followed when it's gotten to the public um, or you're trying I, to I, I do, I'm not aware. I I, I don't understand say before I release music, I just go sit down go for through NBA some process. Office. Because I'm not, I know say even no, for, for media houses, nah, content, if you're looking to advertise, even for your production, we send it to a particular body where they to, give approval yes. for us to actually play those kind of things. So now what is up with the act say if this kind of if this body did for the and this kind of content for because for something like production, like a false like a typical example, false, false yeah. video, it's not yeah. not be something we just we'll be launched. Exactly. Uh, it was something that was done, money. it was production, it was done well before it was released to the public. So they, when they talk say NBC, no no they are aware of this kind of content before it was released to the public? I think, say, it go day dangerous. Say, every time we, we want to release music, we guys go sit down for MB, NBC office. You know, with film... Because that will help regulate, in nah, regulating the content I, that is being given out I there. Think, I think f an, a, the creative industry not supposed to be over-regulated. See the way we America did. If you misbehave, if you do what you know correct, consequences there. The judiciary will step in, punish you. So now, may we imagine, say, Mark Zuckerberg, before he think of that novel idea, say, he won't connect everybody through a platform, Facebook. He go sit down for one regulatory office for America before he get approval to build websites, to host servers, to connect people. You know, he go stifle ideas. So I, I believe, say, a more proactive um, procedure would be that the orientation should be there. If you create what you're not supposed to create and you injure people, you offend people, you cause katakata, we go find you. We go carry you, go court, we go find you. So everybody, when they do that same thing, go there, I will say, see what you do, this musician, we go create a immoral song, obscene song, offensive material. See what you do, then ban them. No station playing video for so so. It. But now, as far as I know, it is not yet the practice. Say, before I go release album or singles, I guys go queue for NBC office, then go play on for the Ogadier, then go vet time. And again, more importantly, all these creative people, now them they define civilization. All these scientists, all these engineer people, all these people where they build new products, where they make our life better. Now them, we don't suppose they put any gag, any obstruction on their way of, you know, trying to make society better. I like the fact that you mentioned, say, the creative industry shouldn't be over-regulated. Yes. Now, in that instance, because we don't see a lot of music being, being brought out and then and the common side talks, they don't ban them. In that case, how can intellectual property be protected and free from government interference? Um, you know, um, the thing is, say, no special cases, they happen time to time. So, you don't really feel answer that question, give one answer, we go answer all those um, events. But what thing I, I believe is say, um, the freedom of expression don't they guaranteed under the Constitution, under Section 39. It is guaranteed that every citizen that is Nigerian would have the freedom of speech to express themselves, to, to express himself to all the opinions and all of that. But again, we got to understand, say, no freedom, they entirely absolute. As you free, say, at a certain level, your freedom, no suppose they, um, they affect my own freedom too. Mm -hmm. So you guys are sensitive and responsible in the way where you exercise your freedom. So even when you create original work, it is almost automatic that you own the copyright in that work. But again, um, the extent of censorship, say, hey, you're not supposed to talk rich like this, you're supposed to talk rich like this, you guys try balance them. Because no freedom, they absolutely totally. 
So as with the try move, you also guys they respond, they check other people, say, you know they you know they offend people or you know they cause while like, we're waiting in the produce or waiting in the crate. Now if we're looking at intellectual property and the issue of um, content creation and originality, um take take for example a, a very peculiar case is comedians now. Okay. The content, a lot of them they create their own content, but it they painful when I work hard to create a content and then after I just say I'm once, I hear people they multiply that same content over and over again without giving me the due credit in it. A lot of times when they see I'm especially among comedians in the industry, and a lot of them are not happy about it. What do those comedians actually do in terms of intellectual property and the right to originality? Yeah, um, I, I, um, I've not seen firsthand um, any decision on that. Because even comedians with the America, with the UK, for legal systems with they more um, developed than our own. Many of them, they get that complaints. But me, I don't do my research. I don't read well. Although if they are there, but I never see. But I never see pronouncements. We totally favor them. But again, we must acknowledge, say, any comedian, we come up with original content, get copyright inside that material we increase. Because if they are original, and Naeem Writer, how that's what we call know? scripting. And if there can be copyright in a script and the performance of that script, comedy is just one branch of entertainment. It's yeah. one branch of performance, uh, performance um, creation. And it is almost automatic. But again, um, maybe now one downside to the job is that, say, it's day easy. Make anybody just carry a joke, dust them. Cleaner, refiner, make them new, make them fresh. Although, again, people, they always argue, say, if we carry something we don't do already, because nothing new under the sun. When we carry that thing, we're new. When we also come modify them, we can't do very fresh and new. When we put our own personality on top of that thing, we don't do already. Say, we say, suppose we enjoy certain rights to so that thing, we will go pick. So, and I just say, maybe we try to find where it they balance for us. But, again, um, the courts, they there. Anybody will know they're satisfied. If you see, say, one big comedian carry a joke and you want to test them, the Nigerian law, if you approach the courts and uh, make we also get a pronouncement for Nigeria so that a uh, precedent go day where everybody go know, say, when this comedian carry that other comedian joke. And it's very prevalent now. On social media, everybody Take creates skits. And content. And yes. yes. So... Anybody who feels saying don't, you don't catch them for neck, you don't tire, and you want to change in the, thing, in the way the things are being done, um, you can throw okay, it out in the ring. Thank really you very it. much, Akinyemi Ayolowa, entertainment lawyer. Me. We come inside the house, talk about ban on intellectual property by NBC. And very nice conversation we don't get with you. Thanks very much. I All right, we're going to need to pass more break right now. By the time we come back, we'll get spots with Judo to go in the building. Stay with us. Hey. To enjoy more of this, our Ubonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.